Hello and welcome to another video. I'm studying some Python programming or development and I need to install PyCharm as part of the curriculum. So I'm quickly going to show you how to install PyCharm on Ubuntu GNOME 15.04. You can do this on Ubuntu 15.04 as well. I'm just using the GNOME variation. So what you want to do first is purge OpenJDK if you have it installed. I do not, but let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to open the terminal by going Control Alt and T, and it's on the wrong screen. So you want to type in sudo apt get space purge OpenJDK asterisk and type in your password and as you can see uh, <coughs> pardon me uh, nothing's been removed or upgraded or anything because it does not exist if you add it hopefully if you do this it's not going to break anything for you but the next step would be to add the PPA so you want to go sudo add dash apt dash repository and it will be ppa colon web up d number 8 team forward slash java and you hit enter to say yes and this is showing me it's going to install oracle oracle java 9 <coughs> pardon me again I think I'm getting sick so on my laptop I installed it a while ago and I'm sure it was Oracle Java 8 but anyway let's go and hit enter and that's now added the PPA so now just do a sudo apt get update just to update all the repositories and make sure the cache is all new and shiny and all the new updates are in there and it looks like my internet connection is pretty crappy today oh no okay it's finished so now we want to install the Oracle Java 8 installer so you want to go sudo app-get install Oracle dash Java 8 dash installer and it's going to ask me are you wanting to do this and I'm going to say yes please and hit enter and it brings us to the configurator or package configuration screen whatever you want to call it so I'm just going to hit enter to say ok <coughs> must accept the license terms, Oracle binary code license agreement for the Java AC platform products and JavaFX not accepting will cancel installation and obviously we've read the license agreement and we want to go ahead and install it so we go yes and press enter and I'm going to pause the video quickly just so that can do its thing and as you can see it's now saving to the Todd GZ and it's running through all its motions it's going to pause again I just wanted to show you this part of what you can expect awesome so that's done now what we want to do is download PyCharm let me show you go to the website and the website is jetbrains.com and it will bring you to the JetBrains website and you can go to PyCharm and say download so we're looking for the community edition which is for free and it automatically picked up I'm using Linux so we can go download community And there we go, and it's going to dump it into my downloads folder. Let's save it there. It's going to take a, quite a while, so I'm going to pause again and then show you how to install the PyCharm portion. 
Okay, so now it's been downloaded, so I'm just going to go to the folder. And look for part charm. I just want to copy this, make a new folder called applications. You don't have to do this, you can leave it in the download directory. I just want to do it in here, get some order. Anyway, so now we want to extract this tar.gz. So we're going to go back to terminal and we will run it tar x. What was it? F. <coughs> Uh, pi charm dash community dash four point five <coughs> dot, dot, dot gz. So obviously you'll use the version number that you actually but that you are have downloaded. Sorry, someone's pinging me on the side. <coughs> And it would work if I actually browse to applications and then try this. There we go. Okay, so I've now untarred it or unzipped it or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> now we want to go to the folder where we extracted the archive, so let's run a list, you'll see there's bin, build, text, help, helpers, all your subfolders in there, so what we want to go is go to bin, and then you want to run dot forward slash by charm dot sh to launch the application. And it will come up with this and say, I do not have a previous version of PyCharm because I do not. And we say, OK. And we'll load PyCharm. <coughs> I'm just going to actually leave all the defaults here. That's my password, desktop entry created. OK, cool. So PyCharm's running. 